Hi guys, very good afternoon to you. Uh, welcome to the another video, video number 161. And uh, in this video, uh, I am again actually going to uh, assist uh, one of my subscribers who has previously written me a, an email uh, looking for the uh, connectivity with the Outlook to Excel. And uh, I recorded the video number 160. If you haven't watched that video, please do so. Uh, in that video, what we did is actually uh, we, uh, you know, uh, connected our Excel with the Outlook and um, there we uh, looked for the particular subject in the Outlook inbox and from there uh, if the subject you know is what we the subject which we are looking uh, in the Outlook if it, that uh, email you know is uh, Excel is able to that code is able to find then uh, you know it is going to extract that attachment the file you know the Excel file from there and it is going to save in the D drive so you can watch the video or you will understand what I'm saying uh, but actually uh, this video is uh, further one step for you know one step further to this in the continuation of the previous video 160 uh, so actually subscriber uh, who has written me this email his name was Himan and uh, so he wrote me back actually uh, uh, he said that uh, you know he needs further addition uh, so this is what actually he has written again uh, thank you for sh uh, sharing the code but the problem is uh, every day I'm getting one email with the same subject line and I need to download only specific date attachment by giving the subject line specific subject line right so what he means is that he is receiving a lot of emails on the same subject and that is the subject strategy meeting uh, re colon strategy meeting and uh, he receives uh, every day these emails and I think he is storing them in uh, you know some folder so by the end of the month uh, with the same subject line you have you know a lot of emails compiled on uh, you know under that one folder and uh, having the different different dates like 1st January 2nd January 3rd January 4th January so he's looking for a code which if he runs uh, if he wants that let's say the date called uh, 1st of January then from that 30 emails or 60 emails or maybe more than that you know the the dates of uh, the subject line which has this strategy meeting it should be actually uh, picked up and then in that particular email uh, it should see that you know uh, which email has those attachments excel files having a date called 1st January 2nd January whatever right so I got the uh, your question a month uh, previously I think you were uh, I was not able to uh, get your exact requirement uh, but this time you explained it very well so let's go ahead and uh, let's build this code so uh, this is going to be the video number 161 and by the way uh, if you if you're watching my channel for the first time then I would like to tell you that uh, all the previous 160 videos you can watch on my website which is called the excelvblover.com and if you're looking for any excel online training please go there find out the training content if you're looking for the free videos I have here free videos on the excel and similarly I have uh, training content for the VBA which I train you know which I teach actually online and uh, then you have the VBA training also the free videos on the VBA right uh, otherwise the another way of you can also subscribe to my channel and you can go to the playlist and there you see all the video tutorials according to the subject line right you can see this it's very simple and uh, so let's just begin and uh, let's start building the code uh, let's go to the developer uh, environment visual basic and there you go now insert the module I um, have uh, this is the module one where I will write the code uh, before I write the code I want to connect outlook so I'm going to use the early binding method to press M and then I will look for the Outlook library. Okay, Microsoft uh, JM and there you go. It starts with the O now, so I should see here somewhere. Um, yeah, that's that's the library, right? That's the library. Uh, this depends upon the 14.0 is. Uh, I mean, uh, it depends what exactly you are using. Uh, like in my case, if I go to the you know this all programs, uh, I'll show you um, in this. Um, let me just scroll it down. Microsoft Office. I think I'm using 10. Yeah. So Microsoft Outlook 10. This is what I'm using, right? If you're using 2013 or maybe the latest one, I think it's 2015 or uh, 16. Uh, you know, whatever version you're using, you will have this number different, right? Um, uh, I think after 14, they have 15 and then 16. And uh, in the 2007, if you go back, the last uh, the version they Microsoft launched uh, was 2007 before 2010 actually. Uh, so I think you would see their 12.0, uh, right? Okay, so this you need to on it, otherwise you will not be able to use the Outlook uh, classes, right? So it's very important. Now, what we are going to do here is, let's start the code. So this is my code, uh, let's say getting date, 
of my choice right so first of all you declare the variable called the olook as outlook application you create the op object having the name called outlook then you need to give this allocation so this is how you give the allocation you need to set this object so that we, we can give you know allocation to this variable called olook so now it is going to be treated as outlook object right and uh, you can watch my all the outlook videos on the vba uh, there are like i think uh, eight nine more videos on the outlook and you will understand i have explained a lot of things there right okay so the next thing which i would like to do is i would like to use the uh, let's another create this uh, variable called outlook mail item because i am going to deal with the emails so this is how you're going to define it olook dot uh, create I'm going to create this this is very important this will be responsible for my emails and what else is required yes I, I need to have the folders in my last video uh, um, you know in the video number 160 what I did is I uh, uh, showed you that in inbox how to search for the subject line for the specific subject line and from there you know um, for that particular subject line uh, if you have any excel files in that email attachment you know how you can actually save those in your D drive but in this case what I did is um, I created a subfolder so that you should also have the understanding how to uh, you know uh, write a code when uh, when you're actually going to deal with these subfolders because every time you can't keep all the things in the inbox obviously you create a lot of folders right and then you go you have a very systematic approach right uh, well in case if you don't have then please try to do that I think that that would be a great approach uh, you uh, it's not a good idea you know to keep everything uh, uh, your this uh, in your inbox right create the folders different different folders and keep your emails there so I'm sure Hemant also doing the same stuff every day he is receiving the emails on the same subject with the with the, with the different attachments with the different file names uh, date file names right and then I think he's uh, putting them in the folder called this one uh, maybe I mean whatever the folder right so uh, by the way you can also watch the video uh, how to move uh, the, from the inbox you know how to move your emails from the inbox to the to any of your folder right that is also there on my website or on my youtube channel right so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to create uh, this uh, variable uh, object called o space as um, outlook uh, namespace and we'll define it we'll give the word this is responsible for my folder handling it's very important and uh, so this is how we will define it i'm sorry for this get namespace and this is called the mipi uh, this is a messaging uh, application uh, pro protocol interface i guess but you can google it right this is exactly very important this line is very important otherwise you will not be able to define your folder so i want to work uh, under the fo inbox folder and the subfolder name is ajay so this is how i write uh, i'm going to define my folder which is going to be outlook folder that's it and then uh, the folder name is this is how you define when you deal with the objects i write the o space and i say the get the folder okay so you get the folder uh, all right we are doing some mistake here uh, just give me a second uh, get folder default folder okay and in the default folder which is the inbox i need the again the folder okay what is the folder the folder name is ajay this is how you write right so you write your name obviously you don't have to type in as ajay right because if you, um, this this is what i have created so now uh, i have got all the points now in this folder ajay i will run a loop and uh, then uh, in a loop we need to see the attachment also so one will also go for the outlook attachment i think we are good to go now now what we are going to do here is we are going to run the loop so i uh, uh, because you know in ajay folder i have so many emails and this is what we are targeting strategy meeting right so i'm going to uh, let me just open this and let me just copy the subject line so we would like to have all the emails check you know we want the check should be done on an, on on the emails or uh, you know which has a subject line called strategy meeting and but then afterwards it should also check that if you have a particular file of the date let's say uh, second second january this is not the second january this is the four uh, yeah this is the second january actually so this should this date should be picked right and i should get i should be able to extract it and uh, i should be able to save it in the my d drive if if i talk about this this is the third january so no this should not be picked uh, if I talk about this then I have here first January so this also should not be picked right so this is what actually we are trying to do and rest of the emails they should be ignored because they don't have the subject line called strategy meeting right 
all set i hope this is uh, making a sense indeed it's a good actually question and i congratulate you for this uh, great question and because you know uh, when you ask me great questions uh, you know uh, then only i have you know get the chance to upload the videos and i think that's how you know uh, i create awareness about my channel and that's how you, you know um, uh, people who are watching for the first time they get associate you know uh, with my channel so i mean i'm really immensely very much thankful to all of you who keep on writing such great stuff and i'm very glad that i'm able to help you out you know uh, to i think certain extent <laughs> i guess so all right so uh let's start the now this code so i'm saying now for each mail in uh, in a folder called ajay you know whatever the full uh, emails you have you need to search that mail so this is how you write right this is going to be a collection loop in case if you don't have any idea about the collection loop uh you can go on the my website or maybe on the my youtube channel find out the collection loop category and there you will see a lot of lot of practical stuff so i'm going to say that for each mail uh, this is what we have done this is our object which uh, which we have defined as a you know o mail as mail item so this is responsible so what i'm saying that for every mail in all the emails right this is how you write items right next you need to find the subject line what is the subject line of that email so let me just show you then i will delete this code just to make you understand what will happen now if you run this code see what will happen you see all the subject lines of the email in my inbox folder they are getting published and this is what we will target right away that's it that's it all set right so this is how your every subject line is captured so the code is running fine now i will not need this uh, so what i will do is that if the subject line equals to in the code if this is the code if this is the subject line then what you need to do is then you further need to see that in that email if the attachment name is second of january then you need to save it in the d drive this is what i'm going to do so again i will run one more loop which is called the for each my attachment attachment means it could be a text file it could be excel file it could be csv file right so this is what i'm going to write so for each attachment for each you know excel file in my in my this email mail attachment create here next if attachment file name if that is equals to so this is what i'm going to write uh, whatever the file name you have so we have a uh, this name 2016 dot xlsx very important you should keep your this uh, the file name exactly you know the, the way it is like extension cannot be in the capital because uh, if is not able to capture then so this xlsx should be in the small case so if, if it is the case if this is the case then what you want to do then you want to save this file dot save as and where do you want to save it that's all up to you i'm going to save this in the d drive of course with the name of the file which is file name okay and uh, else as nothing should happen and if right and then for the bigger if which is this one we will also write and if and let me delete this now i'll show you how it works let's first go to the d drive and see if i have any file by that name you can see here there is no file and let me take you back to my this strategy so here look at this i'm talking about this dot xlsx you can't keep that in the you know capital letters in your code it has to be the same so this is this should not be captured this should definitely be uh, no this is also not going to be captured this is going to be captured so i should have actually one file in my d drive if the code works fine right because i have the three emails having the same subject but then in the three emails i have only one file which is for the first of uh, second of january okay now let's just run this code 
so we started it out for each mail now what is the subject line the first email is good morning i think it's picking up this so definitely it will fail the condition will fail here so it, it goes to the end if what is the next line is the testing no it is not required then access course no attachment no no then you have daily dashboard no 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 and then what is the another is the test outlook no yeah so now there you actually get this strategy meeting now this is the subject line which i was talking about now if you have this subject line then it should go to the next code right over here and it should see that what is the attachment name so that's my attachment name it's 1st january which is not required so obviously this is not equals to the 2nd of january so it should go to the else right so it's working i guess it's working wrong right now what is the next subject again it's the another strategy meeting email and that what is the email attachment name it's uh, 3rd of january so i this should also be uh, you know uh, not going on the true parameter so it goes to the else what next so i again have strategy meeting and in this case let's see yeah so now it should actually uh, go to you know then criteria because you see here i got that file i got that email so it now goes to the attachment this code and it's going to save this file in the d drive right so let's just run this and uh, next end if next and i think all set every email is now accessed right so I'll click on the effect again and this is how your code will stop i think we are done let's go back to the d drive and see oh yeah great so you can see here the file is created right so similarly if you have more files uh, having a same subject line and you know having a same attachment which is let's say 2nd of january then obviously you will get all the files so this is how you can create this uh, you know great code and i hope this time this is going to benefit you so let me just maximize this and uh, now you can pause the video and you can write this code but don't forget to change this uh, to on this library which i did in the uh, beginning right now this is how you can prepare this code and uh, i'll come up uh, with the some more exciting stuff soon so till then please um, stay fit and have a very happy learning thank you so much